the supply statewide snowpack has dropped from 130% in January to 92% today. Our mountain snow acts like nature's water tower, filling our rivers and lakes for the year. So let's bring in meteorologist Alex O'Brien to show us when this downward trend started and what it could mean for our spring runoff. Alex. Allison, our Colorado precipitation has flip flopped once again. So back towards the early fall, the mountains and the western slope actually had some good moisture and we were bone dry here on the eastern side of the state. And now that pattern has completely changed. In Colorado, we are seeing great improvement to drought levels in the Denver metro area and northeastern plains since January, reducing from extreme to moderate or severe. This is a direct result of more moisture coming in since January. Colorado Springs ended up slightly below average in January, but Pueblo and Denver saw two to three times the average amount of precipitation. And now, midway through February, all three cities have surpassed the average amount for the entire month. After an incredibly dry fall and early winter, it's a great change to see. Looking at the precipitation statewide in the last 30 days, the surplus is clearly visible along the Front Range and eastern Colorado. But while we are drinking up the moisture, the western slope and the mountains are in a deficit. Let's break this down by looking at our statewide snowpack levels. When comparing this year the white line to average the green line, you can see the slow start to snowpack from November through mid-December. Snowpack spiked mid-December through early January, peaking above average. And since then, we have leveled off, taking us back to below average levels. This trend will need to change to reach normal levels by spring. The current forecast trend indicates a drier than normal trend continuing for the mountains and becoming drier here in the front range as well. I did speak with Russ Schumacher from the Colorado Climate Center today and then and he did say that he has definitely taken note of this drastic change from 130% to 92%, but he also noted that just solely focusing on the fact that in mid-February we're at 92% of average for our snowpack, that's not too concerning yet because we still have a lot of time and a lot more snow to go until our average peak in mid-April. In Colorado Springs, meteorologist Alex O'Brien, News 5.